George Herbert Walker Bush was a war hero, a business leader, vice president, perhaps the strongest resume of anyone in history to the presidency of the United States. George H.W. Bush, the 41st president of the United States, was born in Milton, Massachusetts on June 12, 1924. Bush's father was part of the A-list uh, of that era. And in fact, uh, he eventually was a senator. Bush went to boarding school at Phillips Academy in Massachusetts. He began dating 16-year-old Barbara Pierce after meeting her at a 1941 Christmas dance. The day he turned 18, he enlisted in the United States Navy, the youngest pilot in the United States Navy during World War II. He flew carrier-based torpedo bomber aircraft. In 1944, his plane was shot down by enemy fire. He spent hours in the Pacific, was finally rescued by a U.S. Navy submarine. Bush was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross, flying a total of 58 combat missions. In January 1945, George and Barbara Bush married. The couple had six children. After he got out of the Navy, he went to Yale University, and he was a member of the university baseball team. He graduated with an economics degree in 1948. He went to Midland, Texas, and he formed a little oil company. The oil company was successful. In 1963, Bush became chairman of the Harris County, Texas Republican Party. He ran for the United States Senate uh, and lost. In 1966, he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, serving two terms. Then he became the U.N. ambassador. And during the Watergate scandal, Nixon picked him to head the Republican National Committee. And then President Ford asked him to become the U.S. envoy to China. Ford later appointed Bush to head the CIA. He was widely credited as restoring the agency's reputation and respect on Capitol Hill and uh, throughout government. Bush ran for president in 1980, losing the Republican nomination to Ronald Reagan. Reagan saw George Bush as somebody with a great resume. Reagan picked him as his running mate, and on November 4, 1980, the Reagan-Bush ticket defeated incumbent President Jimmy Carter. Bush served as Reagan's vice president for two terms, and then in 1988 ran for president. Read my lips. No new taxes. Bush won in a decisive victory over Democratic nominee Michael Dukakis. He was the first sitting vice president to be elected president since 1837. During Bush's presidency, the Soviet Union crumbled the U.S. military removed Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega from power. Then in August 1990, Saddam Hussein invaded oil-rich Kuwait. Without a doubt, the major success of Bush's presidency was the way he handled the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait. He put together an international coalition. The 28 countries with forces in the Gulf area have exhausted all reasonable efforts to reach a peaceful resolution have no choice but to drive Saddam from Kuwait by force. We will not fail. They got Saddam out of Kuwait, and then they stopped. Domestically, the Bush administration was struggling. We were in a recession. In 1990, he made a deal to agree to some new taxes. His campaign promise about read my lips, no new taxes, ended up costing him in November 1992, George Bush lost his bid for re-election to Democrat Bill Clinton. But Bush continued his public service even after leaving the White House. He was involved in a number of humanitarian operations, raising money for victims of the tsunami or the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Two of his sons became governors, George W. and Jeb, and then George W. became president himself for two terms. George Bush's legacy will be that of a moral man, a man who was a patriot, who served his country in uh, times of war and of peace, but mostly a man of character. 